17 videos is a lot of videos. That's seven LTTs, a WAN show, clips from the previous week's WAN show, three tech links, three short circuits, two tech quickies, and a carpool critics. So last week, we didn't shoot seven videos for LTT. We shot six. Yes. And you said on Friday that you were going to come in on Monday, which you don't normally do, and shoot the seventh video. But my kids are on spring break. Now, Linus isn't in on Mondays. He spends Mondays with his kids. But we can still do some work here at the office to chip away at this number. So now, if you want to go on vacation next week, yes. we need to shoot more than seven LTTs this week, and it's already Tuesday. Dear Lord, I, how am I going to get a personal break update for Luke? This week, the writer's meeting didn't happen on Monday, and we can't actually do it on Tuesday morning because we have a guest coming in for an LTT video, which is Luke. Yeah, Luke's build could take a while depending on if like his case fits a radiator or not and stuff like that. Okay. ANEO, just got to do a pickup for gold controller and then a sponsored Vizio short circuit. Not sure we'll be able to do all those things today. Sarah, secret shopper build. Okay, we haven't had writer's meeting yet. And only after writer's meeting am I going to know for sure that that Sarah secret shopper video can happen on Wednesday. Oh my god, the ultimate camper van thing, is that happening now? He's going to bring the van right outside and we can just shoot here, so it shouldn't be too bad. How is water-cooled PS5 still might not make it? Oh my That's god, because Alex is not even here. <laughs> Maybe the water-cooled PS5 can make it, I don't know yet. But Alex is in Delta today and tomorrow. That gives him Thursday, Friday to water-cool PlayStation 5. Like He's not there all day today and tomorrow. Uh, so, <sighs> Intel home upgrade for David, we could possibly do on Friday. Oh, let's do that. But they take like a whole day. It's only if we kick ass leading up to Friday that we can have room for that. Otherwise, we'll have to do some shorter, easier videos or something. Uh huh. Can you guys shoot videos while I'm gone? It depends what they are. If they're all vlogs, we, that's harder for our people to do than for you to do. So if we have scripted stuff, then like... It's like 10, 15 in the morning on Tuesday and I already have a splitting headache. Well, let's get you shooting Luke's video and then we'll look at this in greater detail after the writer's meeting after lunch. And if I'm feeling bad, I can always caress my gold controller. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, Linus and Luke are done shooting by 11? Let's just have a look here, okay? Well, that can go right there. Easy peasy. It is now 1 o'clock, and they're still shooting. Are we calling it good enough? Um, I mean, we can keep going, but it almost doesn't matter. We still haven't had writer's meeting. It's going to be cool, regardless. He's so full of <laughs> This is not a good start to the week. Should I make sure this is doable before I set you at it? Um, I can see your screen. Yeah, I see your screen. Your face is way low. Sorry, it's because I'm eating. Install webcam at dinner table at home, please. Only fans. The writer's meeting is where leads come in, either from the writers themselves or from the business team for sponsored projects. We evaluate them, and then we assign each writer a project to work on for that week. And it all gets put into Monday so that anyone in the organization can see it and follow along. As we finish going through people's sections, feel free to uh, sign out and get back to work because I think we're a little wow. tight this week. I mean, this is work, but like... Um, so... Who does not have something they're turning in this week? Unlisted so far as Anthony and Alex. Okay, Anthony's busy. Alex, do you need an easy one to bang out here? Uh, I am also quite busy. The hardest part of working here is when something goes wrong and then you suddenly just have to pull a video straight out of your butt. Is the PlayStation happening? It can, or we can do the silicon shortage one. Either way, I need to turn in a video because we have seven uploads to do per week. So I guess, do you want silicon shortage or do you want water cooled PS5? PS5 would be more Linus time, most likely. Let's just do a scripted voiceover as much as we can. Cool. Jackery Ultimate Camper Van. Colin, is the Jackery Van shoot in the morning or afternoon? Let's, let's just book it for morning. Ah, uh, Secret Chopper. Sarah is really busy this week. It's possible that we could film part of it because it would be a pretty long shoot. The entire shoot requires Linus? Uh, the entire shoot doesn't require Linus, just the first part of it to my understanding. Well, she's going to need some kind of lifeline, so as long as she has someone else, then that'll work. Vlogs are more difficult to edit than something that's scripted already. It takes a mental strain where you have to just go home and, well, I just watch YouTube or something and just zone out. Yeah, we need to find a way to de-vlogify some of what we're doing here because it is killing me. Scripts, guys. Fully scripted videos. I think we're doing more scripted content these days. I could be wrong. Am I wrong? Like, 
I, I've been here for almost two years now. It feels like we're doing a lot of like vlog compared to City Arrow. Okay, Jackery Ultimate, so this is five, seven, eight, theoretically, but a lot of these are question marks. Holy sh Okay, so in the writer's meeting, we found out that Jesse's secret shopper video with Sarah, maybe not able to finish this week because Sarah won't have time, but I have a plan. Sarah, am I allowed to touch these? Yeah. yeah uh, are you free tomorrow morning to, to do that? I am, Like yes. first thing, like 9, yep, 9.30? Yeah, immediately. And I've been told that you're super busy, so you just want to do like maybe part of it, <laughs> and then next week do another part of it? Yeah. You basically won't interact with Linus during the shoot at all. Sure. Although I don't think it's going to save us this week unless you do kind of finish the whole video tomorrow. Yeah, which is probably just not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. My plan sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so Ed's not here today. Normally I don't need to directly talk to the shooters. That's, I talk to Ed and Ed talks to the shooters, but he's not here. So let's go talk to Brandon. Ed and James have to figure out how everything's going to go together and how it's going to get uploaded. Ed's the one that has to like tell the editor like, hey, you get to work late, have fun, and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Hello. Are you aware of Jesse's secret shopper shoot with no. Sarah? So my question to you is, where can we shoot this tomorrow morning, like 9.30 to lunch? Okay. We're pretty short on set. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit crazy to do that, that amount of like video in one day. For example, if we're doing three vlogs, we only have like, kitchen set and the build corner most primarily for vlogs. The two parts are different enough that they can use two sets. So it's not like you're gonna have to set one up. One, one chunk there and then another chunk somewhere else. If we're setting those two sets up, we don't usually take it over for, you know, other shoot. We have the set left there until we finish the video, which is kind of awful. We just, you know, fighting you know, to grab the set to use. Yeah, and yeah, no hot set, kind of leave it set up kind of deal. Okay. I think we should put it in the study nook. Okay. okay. And then maybe we'll just reuse that for Pluth's yeah, video. Sure, that works too. We'll, we'll shoot whatever we can with her that day, and then when Linus needs to use it, if we can. Cool? All right, cool, thanks. Okay. <laughs> are there any individuals who are more demanding than others? If I had to pick the most demanding individual, it would definitely be Linus because he often skirts the system. He'll just kind of run in and uh, take whatever he needs. So it's Wednesday morning and so far we've shot one LTT. Wednesday is the day that Linus has his weekly merch meetings, which are scheduled from 9.30 to 11, a good chunk of the day. But today I got a message from Linus saying, I'm gonna be late. I have an impromptu meeting with this construction company at 9.30. That's gonna push back the merch meeting. And he has a call at like 10.30 with the city I don't know what we're gonna do, man. Okay, he's pulling in half an hour behind schedule. Hopefully the merch meeting is satisfied with that because we have to, if we have to do another meeting tomorrow, then we'll really be screwed. So uh, back to the, um, the mock-up then. So basically it'll be like have gold printing on here. Really it's like those that. like the, the, the plushie from like Jono had. It's pretty bulky. Yeah, it's pretty bulky. Okay, so it's quarter to noon, and Linus is finally sitting down to do the first script review of the week. Script review is what happens when the writer is finished writing a script, um, but before we shoot it, they sit down with Linus and go through the whole script looking for factual, accuracy, flow, uh, is an exciting video, does it have a good intro that's gonna hook you guys, all that kind of stuff. Once it's done, we switch the status of that uh, item to script reviewed, and that triggers an action for our friend Jeff to go in, add sponsors to the script, and then when he's done that, put it onto the teleprompter so we can shoot. Once a script is reviewed, has sponsors on it, and is on the teleprompter, the writer will come downstairs and work with the shooters to complete this, the ready to shoot checklist. This thing exists because Linus was sick of coming down to shoot and finding out they weren't actually ready for him. We have a process of how to set up Aero. There's no big difference between setting up, like for example, LTT Aero versus the um, TechWiki Aero. That's pretty like structuralized. Is that the world? Once that's done, and only then, you can send a notification to Linus saying that the video is actually ready to shoot and he or whatever host there is will come to the set and do the talkie talkie. Okay, I just got a notification saying that the script review is done. 
And Lions is out of the bathroom now, so we can attack him. So, uh, buddy, how bad do you want to eat lunch today? I mean, I'm pretty hungry. You've lost your lunch privileges, I think. <laughs> All right, fine. Have your lunch. I haven't seen this yet. This is awesome. Now everybody knows LTT is famous for its sponsor segues. We don't always get to do the sponsor read in the video naturally, but when that happens, we film them like this. 210314 pre-roll key sight. Didn't I shoot this? We call it sponsor pickups. And that's what Linus is gonna do right now. It's an annoying thing that's in his schedule that doesn't help me fulfill my goals. This is gonna be interesting. I have never taught myself how to build a PC before. MSI looks good, but it's also red. <laughs> and I don't want a red graphics card. How long did that take? Mm, two hours, an hour and a half. Worth of footage, maybe like five, 10 minutes. Cool, second question. Um, when will you have time to do the second segment? Next week, I have a lot of big projects that I'm working on right now, so. So definitely not tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> See you later. All right. You're being very proactive. It's like 9.30, Linus just got here and you're already script reviewing. That is exactly what we need to succeed today because we need to shoot three videos today. So Colin, yes. is there going to be time after this meeting between being ready to shoot? Is there going to be a little window of time there? There will be a small window I will allow you. Okay, I'm going to use that time to have a meeting with Linus. Uh, and then after that, uh, hopefully we can do some script reviews. Alex wants to script review this afternoon. I actually don't know Anthony's readiness level yet, but ideally we can shoot all three of these today so that we have the whole day tomorrow to do David's yeah. Intel Home Upgrade. Okay, can I actually script review now? Bye-bye. Okay, so Colin. Another thing to think about is how all of those videos we're gonna make in a week are distributed throughout that week because we can't make 17 or 18 videos in one day. So a Gantt chart is a good tool for that. Obviously there's videos that never move. Tech linked is always Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but things like the LTTs, it's way better to spread them out. We can't really do more than two in a day reliably. It's actually a good thing to shoot a bunch of videos all at once, like try to shoot three or four videos in a day and then allow for Linus to like go do something else. It doesn't actually cause problems for the editing department because then we just have a bunch of videos and they can be divvied out to individual people. This week, I've got a stack of three on Thursday. Even though we try to avoid this, a lot of the time, a writer kind of starts a project on Monday and is ready to shoot it on Thursday or Friday. So it's pretty typical to see a stack on Thursday. It's actually preferable to have like a sort of a mound of videos that you can just chip off and, and do one at a time uh, selectively, rather than having them slowly come in one at a time and, and somebody has to do them because there's nothing else to do. I think this is manageable, but um, you know, if you can shoot two on Monday, the rest of the week is so much easier. So today, Linus is doing a thing that he does once a week, which is called float plane lunch. So here I have on the phone, Luke, Luke, what is float plane lunch? We have a call usually around lunchtime. We talk about float plane. He's the CEO of float plane, but he doesn't really see the day-to-day -day interactions of, of how it works. If, if he has any input, he can throw it on us at that time, throw in some last minute changes, which you just know developers love, uh, and just make sure that he's abreast of what's actually going on at the company. I know he likes breath. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm just getting poked in the There's face. There's a lot of clicks to end the meeting. <laughs> All right, it's 3.45. You're not in your office. You did two script reviews. Yes. They're going to be quick shoots? Yes, 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 yes. yes. They don't have any, like, vloggy bits? Uh, there's a confetti cannon involved in Alex's. I think we're pretty good. Okay, okay. And then Colin's ready for you outside. Oh. He said that'll only take, like, 20 minutes. Okay. So I think we could shoot three before the day is done here. What do you want to do with the rest of your day when you're done shooting it, like? Um, I want to sit and wallow in a pool of anxiety. Can I join you? Um, <laughs> Before we had like management involved, it was it was just chaos. Um, <laughs> Our ability to communicate is so much better now. Back in the old days, we just used Excel to track all our projects, which was great when there was like three of us. But nobody knew what anybody was doing. Nobody knew what was finished. Like, oh no, we need pickup shots on this video. Did anybody get them? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Just talk to this person. They're out of the office. 
but with Monday.com, it doesn't matter if you're on your parents' computer or pulled over on the side of the road using your phone. Things have actually been going like pretty smoothly, all things considered. Like when something's kind of like gone bad, it's been way less bad. Everyone's updating their projects, you know, all in one place. We got three today. So we got Anthony's C today roll. There's a couple little cleanup items, but they can shoot them without me. So we should be good to do David's extreme tech upgrade tomorrow. What is your confidence level going into that, that you're gonna finish in any kind of reasonable time? How late do you think it's gonna be? Uh, it can't be late because I have to go see a house at six. You oh. have to drive at rush hour on a Friday afternoon. From Vancouver. From Vancouver. Well, uh, the good news is David will not be a camera operator this time. He'll be actually helping me, and David's reasonably competent when it comes to like PCs, so. Oh, seriously? No. <laughs> okay. We only have to build two water cooled PCs tomorrow. Wait, they're both water cooled? Oh, yeah. Are they AIOs? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Oh, it's When's finally it? happening. Oh, God. Is there like a bunch of furniture for yours, too? No. Like, is, is this actually like water cooled? Like, water There's cool? actually only one computer to build. The other one's already built, we just have to add a radiator to the loop. Okay, we got this. Alright. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I gotta do, I gotta do my, I gotta do my, like... Classic. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh my god. What a fail! And that was Thursday, folks! <laughs> and camera rolling. Uh, is test cam rolling? Yes. Yep. We're in the home stretch now, it's Friday. And as you know, Linus is at David's house in Vancouver doing his Intel Extreme Home Upgrade. But we do have a couple issues today. The fact that the Intel Home Extreme Upgrade is happening for David, who's a shooter, means that we only have one shooter left over because we only have Andy, Brandon, and David. And then Brandon is actually off-site doing the B-roll for that van upgrade video. They're out in the woods, like, setting up solar panels and stuff. So we don't have any shooters here that are our normal shooters. So not a lot is gonna get shot here today. Uh, it's kind of a challenge. So what are the writers doing instead? Well, it's Friday, which means it's WAN Show Day, and the hosts of the WAN Show don't just go off the top of their heads, they have notes in the WAN doc. So every Friday at about 10 a.m., a notification comes up automatically from monday.com that says, hey, it's WAN Scrum, and that tells every writer to go and contribute one or two stories, and then I go and look over it, and I reorder the stories from most interesting to least interesting, and then when the hosts get there at hopefully 4.30, and not like, an hour and a half late, it's an easy, smooth show. But I have a feeling it's gonna be late today. This is gonna be tough. I've got five hours to fix this water cooling and build a completely separate water cooled system. The bar is gonna be pretty low here. Okay, so I haven't heard from Linus or David or Andy all day, even though I've messaged them. It's currently 4.30, which is when the ranch was supposed to start. My guess is that they're scrambling to finish and he hasn't even left Vancouver. So I'm gonna call him. Hopefully someone over there answers. I'm still here, I'm leaving soon. Okay. Uh, okay, bye. Bu bye. <laughs> Did you hear the despair in his voice? <laughs> ah! <laughs> and so then the question becomes, do we just push Wancho to be super, super late or get someone else to co-host the Wancho, which Alex actually volunteered to do. So he walked down here with his stuff and then he turned around and came back and said, apparently it's gonna be like a 7.30, three hours late Wancho. So we'll see if people want to watch that. Hi. Hey, how are you all doing, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're having a wonderful Friday night or, well, it could be Saturday morning by this point. We're a little late, but I assure you it was for a very good reason. We had the one and only David Gauthier, one of our- Huge thanks to Monday.com for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about how their software can help your team, check out the link below.